What's up everybody, this is Dr. Tech Preacher. So I made a video on how to convert the Galaxy S20 FE into a Galaxy Note. And in that video, I showed you some unique features, also with a pen. But over time, with the new software updates, some apps is not working. And I received a bunch of comments from you guys about this. So this is a follow-up video on how to convert the Galaxy S20 FE into a Galaxy Note. And in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that's good and the bad. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I got the Galaxy S20 FE here. I got the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I got the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I got the LG V60. Now, three of these devices have pin support and pin software. The Galaxy S20 FE does not have pin support and pin software. So what I did in the previous video, I talked about how you could download apps to make this work along with this pin. Now this pin, I've been supporting this pin for a very long time. I made a video about this pin. This pin is really nice, about 20 bucks. I made a dedicated video just for the pin. What I like about this pin is this pin work on any Android phone, any tablet, any iOS device, uh, and it will work with, I mean, without a doubt. The battery life on here has been very great on this pin. I mean, I maybe charge this up maybe once a month. I pretty much use it all the time and this pen works great. One of the reasons why I like this pen is because of the fine tip. The tip on here is really good for pure accuracy. All right, so since the Galaxy S20 FE does not have pen support, you have to have something to create pen support on the device. Now this pen right here, it created pen support. All right, and the only thing I did in the previous video is downloaded some apps. Now, what One UI 3.1, uh, Android 11, some things doesn't work anymore. A lot of y'all guys will hit me in the comments because I put links in the previous video to download all the apps. All right, so one of the things that been killed off is S Note. All right, so if you try to uh, open up S Note, S Note is trying to load uh, and it no longer works. So I think one of the things y'all guys just hit me up in the comments said easy. S Note don't work anymore. Now, as you know, Samsung has killed off S Note and now using what's called Samsung Notes. Samsung Notes is the win all be all for the Galaxy Note, right? For the Galaxy Note, and I'm show you guys real quick. All right, so once you get into the Galaxy Note, you get all notes or whatever, and you click on it. This is pretty much Samsung Notes, all right? Or if you create a note, this is Samsung Notes. So when you create a note or you open up all notes, it's synced between platforms. So when I open up Samsung Notes, everything that I've done on one device will automatically transfer to the other device. Now you do not get pressure sensitivity and obviously you don't have a start silo to load the pin in. But yes, you can use Samsung Notes. And one of the things that I wanna show you guys is that uh, Samsung Notes work very well here. Now I wanna show you guys this PDF. Now this is a PDF. I uh, kind of lower the brightness a little bit so y'all guys can see this. All right, so this is a PDF, and one of the things that a, a, a Galaxy Note device can do is sign PDFs. So at this point, I can sign a PDF just like I do with any other uh, Samsung device. If I need to sign a PDF, here it is. I can sign a PDF all the way true and true. So if I wanted to sign a PDF here, right, and I could just you know, put my name on there, right? And you still have all the same functionality uh, of the Galaxy Note. They say, if I want to lasso that and make it bigger, okay, just like that, and you could do that. And I'm good to go. So every time I open up Samsung Notes, I get the full functionality of the Galaxy Note in Samsung Notes. If I want to create a note and I want to do all kinds of different things, I can do that here. And I remember the last video, I talked about this when I uh, inserted a photo in Samsung Notes and I did some annotation and some uh, playing around with it. And this is something that you could do. So in Samsung Notes, you could do that on the Galaxy S20 FE. All right, so that is Samsung Notes. Now, one of the things I did show you guys in the video 
is that screenshot and you could do all kinds of stuff and i showed you guys what's called screen master now let me see if i can let me take a screenshot here all right so i took a screenshot with screen master and at this point when i go to editing i have a slew of features i can use with this screenshot whether i can crop in whether i can text right here whether i could do all kinds of different things make it big go up and down right here uh i can mess around with the background i could put stickers i can add borders i could do so much here with this app i really do like this app now i have some ads and you could buy the full version if you like but uh you can use spotlight spotlight is really good here so spotlight what that does is it you it spotlights only the part of the 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 photo or the uh, that you want to highlight and that is very good here. So I like that. I like this app right here again These apps that I'm talking about Samsung notes and uh, Screen master I will leave those links down in the description below. Okay, so if you want to use pin support uh, On your galaxy device you could do that here on the galaxy s20 fe All right again Samsung notes start up a new one and boom here let's go right here and click on that and there we go yes a test now the latency is really good i like this pen the latency is really good you will have all that latency and stuff like that uh, again you do not get pressure sensitivity so that's something you definitely got to keep into account and yes you can change the colors so if I want to change this to a red, I could do that and get out of that. There we go. So I can change the color. All right. I can add grid lines. I could do all kinds of different things here. If I wanted to, I could change the background color. Uh, if I wanted to I could go to this color here so I could change the background color. I could do everything that I could do on my Galaxy Note right here on my Galaxy S20 FE. So you can do that. Uh, and I can erase all that stuff if you want to. Now don't get me wrong, the Galaxy Note is still a one of a kind device. It still have uh, extra functionality that you cannot do with a nine note device. But now we at the point where it's about 80 to 85% close or even closer to making any phone a Galaxy Note. Now again, I know we talk about, it doesn't have a stylo that you can sit uh, the, the pin in, but as y'all guys know, these pins, I mean, a lot of people like to have larger pins, so people are buying third-party pins. Like, I talk about this pin. This pin right here is a larger pin. So when I am writing, I'm using a bigger pin either way. I'm not using a Galaxy Note pin. I like to have a bigger pin. So a lot of people like the S pin, but it's too small, and they want to get more precise uh, writing, so they'll use a bigger pin. Uh, the LG V60 with pin support. And again, we have all the functionality that was ported over from the a Stylo series of devices. It's right here, all right? So here we go. Let me go and open it up again, all right? So here you go. You have the same functionality here that you have on the Galaxy Note and the, the, uh, the Stylo software is on the V60. The V60 supports pin through and through. So you have pin support natively on the LG V60. So I wanna make this follow-up video uh, and let y'all guys know that yes, I am aware of S Note no longer working on the Galaxy S20 FE after Android 11 One UI 3.1 update. But you know what? You don't even need S Note. As long as you uh, signed into your Samsung account, uh, all your S Note features and all your uh, downloads and all your stuff that you wrote in S Note will automatically pull over to Samsung Notes. As long as you have a Samsung account, you should be good to go. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy S20 FE and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.